We're at Centagna Square, and down here there's a whole lot of public employees keeping an eye on things, and the video cameras are here from the TV station, so my guess is they're expecting some activity later in the day. Lots of stray dogs. This is the GNC. Battle of Salamis took place around here somewhere. About 400 BC. The Athenians uh, whipped Xerxes and the Persians. Statue in three languages. Uh, is a grateful memory of the Hungarians who planned, organized, and directed the construction of the Corinth Canal, a masterpiece of 19th century engineering. 1881 to 1893 to dig it. Here's the Corinth Canal. When cruise ships come through here, they virtually scrape the sides. A lot of digging. Tour boat, he's having no problem getting through here. Doesn't look like it's operating today, but you can go bungee jumping off this bridge. The Corinthian statue, located here on Southern Coast Gulf, in fact, we're going to pass from that port and you're going to see what remains from it. That port in Tegrias, the Corinthians used them mainly for transportation of passengers and for commercial um, uh, purposes. Where well, Paul port reached Corinth uh, 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 from. And, uh, and there is a little area. Corinthians were quite a wealthy. Paul wanted them to straighten up. It was Christian the Las Vegas Basita, of its day. Uh, what they are protected by the fence. Greek prehistory, uh, which actually, according to some archaeologists, begins around 5500 BC, uh, when the first traces of. Uh, uh, now let me show you that there in the distance, in that picture, for the Greeks, in that and start new cities and new lives elsewhere, and this begins the colonization period. Century BC. So the colonization of the Greeks starts in the century BC. They turn to the east and across the Aegean. It's smaller and can uh, sit fewer people, but uh, you know, uh, the performances, the modern performances at the NC Theatre. We're heading to the theater at Epidaurus. I had to go back on the bus and get a jacket. Together. Um, and um, in this room, we have statue. Yes, photographs are okay without flash. And posing is not allowed. Okay. No flash, no posing. Most of the statues you can see here uh, date back to the Roman period. The heads are missing because uh, they were made out of a different piece of marble and as they were put uh, down, the heads went off from some place else for nine and three moves from the time. They don't either get the heads got separated from the statues because they were made out of a separate piece of material of stone. And when they tumbled them down, the heads fell off. There's some small ones that are intact. Snake 
what does the snake have to do with asclepios and medicine itself? And this is because of the venom. Okay, the venom of the snake, they use in antiquity, they use today in China, in India, in even modern pharmaceuticals use venoms of different insects or a serpent. Probably it was the game play. Two the sanctuary. The Corinthian style. This is Corinthian style. We also once a year. Now, all ancient sanctuaries had the theater and the stadium. There was a stadium here as well, and the people drum because. Four faces, athletic these of these kinds of activities were religious um, festivals, religious activities to honor the God the sanctuary was dedicated to. The same thing uh, we will also see in, Olymp in Olympia, not the theater in Olympia, but in Delphi, all of these things are there, except for the It's 16,000 people today. Here, Used to be 20,000. And we do have performances here. Orchestra here. Good acoustics. Nope. And that was it. Thank you so much. These are, I'm sure, original seats. And over here, have got to be recent additions where they filled in. This is, they're going to have new fancy entrance gates. Kind of look like the turnstiles at the BART station. New ticket booth. The ticket booth they're using today. It's a temple to Asclepio, and there was a statue of him inside. He was the god of medicine, whereas Hippocrates was the father, a human um, founder of medicine. what this site looks like today and they're doing some work there and this was a temple to Artemis over here that we saw drawings modern-day renderings of what it probably looked like a few thousand years ago now a few of the stones in here are original but the rest of those are modern recreations of what it looked like <laughs> 